Good morning everybody, this is Mr. Mott. What we're going to do is go through the um, types of solutions lab where we experimentally determine uh, whether a solution is saturated, unsaturated, or supersaturated. Okay, so in test tube number one we've got five milliliters of water and what we did is that we added 0.5 grams of sodium acetate to it. Okay, sodium acetate is just a white chemical, the powdery there, um, and we added 0.5 grams into test tube number one and we shook it and after shaking a little while uh, everything dissolved. Now at that point what we have is a clear colorless solution um, where everything dissolved in it. Now when you have a clear solution like this it's possible that we reach the saturation point meaning that we might have reached the exact amount of solute that can dissolve in a certain amount of water at a certain temperature. So what we do? We added another 0.5 grams to it. And the results of which we have in test tube number two. We added 0.5 grams to it, we shook it a little while, um, and it all dissolved. So right now that's a total of one gram. And so what we learned from this is that because all of the chemical dissolved in test tube number two, okay, or the adding that second 0.5 grams, that means that the, the solution we had previously was unsaturated. Okay, so by by adding some more chemical and and the fact that that chemical dissolved means that the previous solution was unsaturated. Okay, so so far we've added we added 0.5 grams in the dissolve. We had another 0.5 grams in the dissolved. Then we went crazy. We added 14 grams of sodium acetate and we shook it for like three minutes. A couple interesting things happened. One is that it felt like it got cold um, but then we can see there's a whole lot of chemical that did not dissolve All right. so then what we do, we see we have two layers, we have a layer of solid and a layer of liquid so after shaking for three minutes we're thinking that that the liquid that's left in there is a saturated solution we're thinking that liquid has dissolved as much as it can um, at room temperature and it can't dissolve anymore so what we did is that we poured this, the liquid, just the liquid, into a small test tube and we added um, a couple more crystals of sodium acetate. Those crystals did not dissolve, proving that this liquid was saturated. So if we take a, a, a solution we have and we add some more solute crystals to it and it does not dissolve, that means that the solution is saturated. Okay. Um, so after that, what did we do? Well, we changed one of the factors that can affect the type of solution. We heated it up. Okay, so we heated it up in a hot water bath. Um, with a rubber policeman, we took all this, kind of pushed this down into the liquid, got all that to dissolve. And um, what we have in test tube number four is sort of the outcome of that. So, um, and so what we did is that we heated it all up, we got it to dissolve and then we slowly cooled it back down to room temperature. So once we got back down to room temperature, what did we do? We added one solute crystal. So our theme has been, you have a clear liquid and we want to know what type of solution is, to, is you add uh, some solute crystals to it. And when we do that, hopefully what we're going to see is that we make a we've made a super saturated solution. So what's happening is right now is that the addition of that solute crystal has caused all that extra stuff to come out of solution, say maybe precipitate out of solution. Okay. And another interesting thing, okay, we don't have the ability yet to feel things through our computer screens, um, but this is getting very, very hot. Okay. And so, uh, at this point, we're kind of thinking um, maybe we formed a solid. And what we can do to kind of prove that is we could take um, a stirring rod or a rubber policeman and kind of push this around, which I'll do here in a second. And if we actually made a solid, okay, some people say we make a solid, we made ice, you can kind of see we can kind of see them pushing in there and this is not a solid okay, this is some of the chemical that kind of came off there and um, 
So we made a super sat excuse me, we made a saturated solution um, when we by adding the crystal. All that extra stuff came out. So even though visually test tube three and four look different, we didn't change anything about what's inside the test tube. We still have the same amount of water and the same amount of solute crystals added to it. Okay. So hopefully this has been helpful in determining types of solutions.